In the next few minutes, we'd like to show you how simple it is to install electric floor heating using Danfoss heat mats. Danfoss has a wide range of products to meet your electric floor heating requirements. Start by drawing a line around any objects where you don't need to install the floor heating. Make a drawing of the room and calculate the area where you need Danfoss heat mats. Remember to deduct the areas under cupboard standing on the floor and under the toilet. Choose a mat that's slightly smaller than the area you've measured. Danfoss heat mats are available in various sizes ranging from 1 square meter to 12 square meters. Before starting the job, read the enclosed installation guide carefully. Make a groove in the wall leading from the floor to the junction box for the two plastic conduits for the cold tail and the floor sensor. Make a groove in the floor for the sensor. Tape up the end of the conduit for the floor sensor with strong tape. Fill the groove with hot melt glue and push the conduit into the groove. Clear away all sharp objects and, with a moist cloth, wipe over the floor. Prime the floor with a primer approved by the electric floor heating manufacturer. Use the drawing you made to calculate where to start laying out the mat. Remove the protective plastic wrapping from the heat mat. Start as close to the junction box as possible. Place the mat on the floor with the adhesive side downwards. It's important that the groove for the sensor lies exactly between two heating cables. The cold tail from the end of the mat is led to the junction box through the conduit in the wall. Fasten it with hot melt glue. To get around obstacles such as drains or toilets, loosen the cable from the mat and glue it to the floor with hot melt glue. Just make sure that the cable isn't damaged by screws or other objects which are drilled into the floor later on. When you reach the wall, cut through the grey mesh of the mat and twist it in the desired direction. Do not cut the red cable. The heat mat must not be shortened. Complete by placing the end of the cable under the grey mesh. Spread a moulding compound over the mat. Use a rubber filling knife or plastic spatula. Make sure that the heat mat is completely covered and that there are no air pockets. The compound must be one approved by the electric floor heating manufacturer and free of sharp objects. Now, the new tiles can be laid. If you use the Danfoss 100 watts per square meter heat mat and Danfoss EFIT 550 timer thermostat, you can also lay a wooden floor. The thermostat connection must be carried out by an authorized electrician. The cable with the thermostat sensor is placed in the conduit that ends in the groove in the floor. To control the floor heating, you must install a thermostat. We recommend a Danfoss thermostat with floor sensor, which interacts 100% with the Danfoss heat mat. This will provide you with a quick and efficient method of regulating the floor heating. You now have an elegant new tiled floor, which will give you a pleasant, comfortable floor temperature, and we hope will bring a little luxury into your everyday life.